Hi, Max here with you from Teslapedia channel, which collects all the information about Tesla. In today's video, I will explain the difference between wall connector and NEMA 1450 and in what situation you should choose one or the other. Let's start with the short history of these converters and why at the moment we generally have a choice of which connector to use. Firstly, the price. We have a wall charger from Tesla that cost $500 more than NEMA 1450 solution. This is one of the reasons why you are watching this video and uh, <coughs> subscribe to my channel. Firstly, NEMA 1450 charger usually comes with Tesla, but you need an outlet adapter NEMA 1450, which is currently $45 and was raised from $35 recently. All Tesla Model 3, which was on sale until 2019, comes with the charger included. But if your Tesla was bought later and is not supplied with the included charger, then you should also consider buying NEMA 1450, as you will save money in long term. What are the benefits of Tesla's wall charger? The main difference is charging speed. Tesla wall charger offers a charging speed of 44 miles per hour of charging, with 48 amperes maximum. Compared to the NEMA 1450, which has a maximum charging speed of 30 miles per hour charging, with 32 amperes maximum. Both options use 240 voltage. The standard 120 voltage US socket only supports 15 amperes and is not covered in this video. But let's imagine that you don't have one of the chargers at the moment and you faced with a purchase choice. Then the total cost for you will be $275 for the charger plus $45 converter for NEMA 1450 markup. Or in case of Tesla's wall connector, your cost will be $500 plus installation, which of course depends on the state and installation prices in that state. Unless you are an electrician, then you can install it yourself with no cost. The difference is at least $200 and we get faster charging for the price difference, which you will need to determine the needs for the faster charging based on the nature of the trips you take. Since Tesla owners mostly charge their cars at the home at the night, the difference these two chargers is not that important. Either one will adequately recharge the Tesla overnight. But if you often take long trips or you often have unexpected trips, then you should choose faster charging. Another advantage of NEMA 1450 is the great versatility, since it is supported not only by Tesla, but also by a very large number of other EV cars. In the case of the wall connector, you limit yourself to using only Tesla cars, which is not necessarily bad, depending on your situation. Personally, I'm more inclined to the NEMA 1450, as it is more mobile and you can always take it with you on any trip, unless of course there are no charger at the final stop. An additional benefit of wall connector is its aesthetic and how it looks in your garage. To summarize what I recommend, NEMA 1450 for cheap alternative and portability, which is not as limited as you might initially think. The wall connector from Tesla is worth getting if you have the task of charging often and a little faster, or if you have two cars and both are Tesla. In this case, you should really go for the Tesla wall connector. I hope I answered your questions. If you still have unanswered questions, very likely I have already answered them on my Teslapedia channel, or I will reply very soon in a new video on the channel. You can consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching this video.